This is World Beer News. Details on how you can be involved. Contact news at tastingniche.com. Welcome to World Beer News. I'm your host, Niche. These are the latest reports on the malt beverage industry for the last week. Coming up, uh, the founder of Corona dies and leaves his entire village millionaires. True or false? Canadian stoners are the best stoners. Hindu groups have sticks up their ass. Uh, Scotland has now decided to grow their own hops. Good for you. The Greeks have an interesting outlook on how to increase their libido. Let me give you a hint, it has to do with beer. <laughs> All that coming up, but first, I wanted to uh, talk about uh, a piece that was sent over to me. Thank you very much for donating news to this channel. Uh, it's so important. And this story came across a lot of different channels. This week, the story that flew around the internet that Antonio Fernandez, the billionaire founder of the brewery for Corona, who, who died this year, that he had left two million to every person in his home village. Um, the story was reported by major news organizations, including The Independent, the BBC, the Press Association, as well as internationally, but it is entirely untrue. So the pub tonight when someone's like, oh my god, the founder of Corona died and he left everybody millions of dollars, I saw it on my newsfeed, you can go, actually, this is why Fox News is probably not the best news outlet. As, I mean, clearly, uh, you, you sent this in to me and you were like, I don't really uh, trust Fox News anyway, but it is an interesting story and I love to do research on these things. So, wah wah, headline news. Headline news is news is false. <laughs> oh, well, that's not uncommon these days. Uh, great story out of Canada. Three freaking, we're just gonna call them stoners, but we'll just, we can tuck in there that they're idiots and losers. Uh, broke into a hot farm and damaged a bunch of products, thinking that this is the same as this. And that's funny. Uh, if you don't know, hops are actually very closely related to the marijuana plant, and researchers have been trying off and on and, and hobbyists to splice the plants together, which you can do. Uh, it just yields like a nothing plant. It yields something that's not good for brewing and not good for smoking. And you can smoke hops. I know people have done it. You probably do too. And it just gives you headaches. So that's not helpful at all, but it's, it's funny that people are dumb. <laughs> Speaking of dumb things, uh, a Hindu group is outraged over this Ibiza craft beer. Okay, so we did, uh, we covered a piece back in June about a brewery in New Zealand that was using Maori legends, uh, gods, on their labels, and it caused a lot of controversy because they didn't really ask or consult with any of the leaders there, and uh, the people were a little, uh, and they were offended. They didn't want their legends being represented on these beer labels, and understandably, and the brewery Backpedaled has been working with the people now, and they've redone the labels and all of these things. So um, best business practice if you have a brewery is to just avoid things like this. Avoid weird inside jokes, avoid political topics that you, I mean, just avoid political topics. <laughs> um, sexism, racism, um, things that you don't have a full grasp on. I mean, things like naming your beer brown, queen, or woman, when um, clearly you have no one from those demographics on your marketing team. Uh, just avoid, I think, is the best way to go. This specific story, the Hindu leader himself seems to be a little bit crotchety. And, you know, Thor or Ninkasi on a beer label, it's not really going to offend a lot of people because it's an old and mysterious religion. But again, best business practice, just avoid things like that and then you won't have guys like this knocking on your door crying about things. All that being said as well, the brewery itself in Ibiza said, you know, we had our reasons, but also this was a limited edition release back in 2015 and it's, we have, we're not even doing them anymore. So, chillax. Oh, there's a new Scottish beer that's being released, released with Dundee grown hops. Mm hmm. St. Andrews Brewery Company, Brewery Company. It's funny you want to have both names, but whatever. Which produces uh, craft beer in this city. Whoop. Thank you, Map. Um, has established a partnership with the James Hutton Institute to produce Harvest Beer. Ooh. So made entirely from hops grown from the Institute's. Mainfield Farm in Ingerary. 
I just make up words. Probably close enough. Great to see that places are now being able to develop and cultivate their own products. Yay, sustainability. In case the world crumbles, you know. Hmm. Here's a little side note, um, and we've heard about this before, but a little bit of a reminder. If you want to get into the big beer market, you know, hit the big ones, like uh, Souffle, the French maltsters are moving into India because that's a big market, and also China. Uh, have you ever heard of a brewery called Brew? I like calling them bro, because I just feel like it's a bunch of bros who are like, yo, dude, how about we just send our beer to, like, China, because there's a lot of Chinese. Good idea. And actually, it's a freaking brilliant idea. So, shares in the Australian beer company uh, Brew are going nuts. Speaking of nuts, brewers, you're gonna love this. Did you know that there is a peanut butter flavored malt? It's all natural, just uh, was kind of an accident of the, the malting uh, system. It actually came out in October 2015, but uh, just this week, Grey Sky's Michigan Single Malt Whiskey was released, and it's made from that peanut butter malt. Ooh. If anybody's made any uh, beer from this, uh, with using this malt, I would love to hear about it. That sounds delicious. <laughs> So, uh, there are sometimes articles that I just like, I don't even, whatever. So, here you go. Pfft. Greek. They say stout increases libido and strengthens erections. Facts? Oh. Uh, I can't uh, cross-reference everything. The things, uh, this is where I want to live. I'm moving to Japan. Yeah, and you, they serve beer. And, uh, and our little... Final piece. The Four Seasons Hotel in St. Louis is partnering with Four Hands Brewing Co. They've created five new beer treatments for spa goers, including a facial and foot detailing. What is that? Um, so the interesting bit here is the full range of includes like shampoo and yeah, you know, the cheapest one is $70 and the most expensive is uh, $295, and it says, quote, inspired by the Balinese massage treatment. To be honest, I've been in Bali, and um, they don't cost $295. They cost, like, 10 and they just, like, pour beer on you and, like, lop it on your skin, and you get a beer. I don't know. So I hope it's not inspired by that, because then you're paying $295 for nothing for whatever. Anyway, that's all for me. I'm basically just gonna do that. I'm gonna fill my bathtub with some beer and just soak my, that's how I keep my skin so nice. I just soak and then uh, finish up the schematics for building my bookcase sleeping arrangement so I can just live in Never Never Land. Uh, if you would like to connect, uh, please uh, send us an email, news at tastyish.com or you can join on the Discord channel, which I'm always on creeping around on there. Be sure to catch the live stream where you can hang out with me and like a mix of international geeks and, and yourself and we'll just discuss topics unedited and with a drink in hand. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Until then, merci. Au revoir.